I am back and with some more Metro Exodus. We're on episode 8 now of the Let's Play. And, um, yeah, we'll just carry on with Metro. Um, <clears throat> streaming wise, I had another day off yesterday because I said in my previous Metro episodes, but um, ever since I've had my jab, it's been up and down with how I've been feeling. Like, um, I guess, like, um, the first two days after I had the job, it were really bad. <laughs> um, but then, when I did a few streams in a day, I think it might be been Sunday, um, I was alright and I was fine. I thought, oh, I'll come back through it. But yesterday, which was Monday, I felt awful again. I was just uh, so annoying because I, I really want to stream, like, um, play games and everything. I, I was tempted yesterday, maybe playing some games would have made me feel better, but I didn't want to start streaming or doing a video and not having the energy or... The I didn't want to make a shit video or a shit stream. I know that's a lot crap because most of the videos are crap sometimes, but... Um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I was doing the best I could, like be the best mindset for the videos and stuff and I don't think it hurts because by the time this is out on YouTube like I'm a few weeks ahead streaming wise compared to YouTube so um yeah it's, it's just for streaming um might have had a bit of a hip but um yeah we'll get back into Metro and um I think we're heading to a new location yeah so yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, let's get into it. We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons, and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world. And it's not up to us to destroy it, no matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? About how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Man, I do like this game. I do like the story going along with it, but... I was kind of thinking the other day, they ain't really done anything... They haven't mentioned anything about the Dark Ones at all. They've kind of left that story, ain't they? I suppose they did end it off quite well last time, where they just went, but... The fact that we didn't see them when we left the metro area, or anything like that... Um, but yeah... Yeah, I saved it um, at this point. We spoke to her, we sat with her, and it was pretty nice. It was a nice little cuddle up session <laughs> with the wife. Kenel, Kenel, come in. Do you read me, Kenel? More hold here. I'm in Gemetti. Over. Kenel, Kenel, come in. Kenel, over. That's just great. We'll try it later. Okay. Why aren't you guys kissing Manchikov's ass so much? How long has it been since even arrived in Irkutsk? Not even two years. You better reconsider your position on Meshnikov. Did you forget who started trading with the convicts from Zolotoy? Huh? Well, that was Zakhar's idea. And Zakhar is the man. He crossed by call. Alone. We'd sign up to anything he proposes at once. Well, Menshikov, I couldn't care less about. Aren't you getting too big in your head? You're so cool now that the relay gang is off your case? Don't fall off that high horse. 
got the hell down. <sighs> All right. I can live with listening to Menchikov if you're so fond of him. Ah, enough of that shit already. The important part is that Irkut is still around, and you guys are too. You're right. That is the important part. Well, give my regards to Menchikov. <laughs> Over and out. You devil. <laughs> Over and out. That was one thing, um, I saw, um, what's his name, on YouTube, uh, he does a lot of Fallout 3 videos, like, um, lore videos and everything, um, oh, what's his name, I'll, I'll have a little quick look, because he, he's a really good YouTuber, um, he live streams a lot now, um, Read law. Uh, Oxhorn, that's it. Um, I saw one of his videos recently, and um, I never, re I, um, because I haven't played Fallout 3 properly ever. It Fallout 4 was really my first Fallout, and some people might think that's a really bad thing, but <laughs> um. I have got the Fallout 3 in New Vegas, but I've not had time to get around to playing them. Um, but he did a video, and I never realised they have a metro system in Fallout. And he's done it in a way he's... Why aren't you guys kissing Lynchicles? Oh, this advance is even arrived in your coast. Not even two years. You better reconsider your position on Nashtikov. He's done him. Um, let me get rid of that. Um, he did a video on the metro, he's doing videos on the metro system because he's done lore on everything else. And he started to do it on the metro and he's done, he's got the logo of this series, the metro games and he's somewhat editing it like the metro games. Because I think he did a live stream a few times on it. And um, yeah, I'd never realised he had a, and people said it's really, really good metro system in that game because you can get lost and it just it just goes on forever and it's really well done and like after seeing that video I was kind of thinking I should really get into Fallout 3 um, or New Vegas even because people say that's what that's such a good game um, I think that's it how long have we been on the road for? I've been listening to the radio too and there was not a single transmission about any occupying force. There's so much regular chatter. So many stories. Dad says all those are coded transmissions. That they all have hidden meaning, but... Why would they be so secretive? Why aren't they using this railroad? Why don't they at least control its key junctions? Why did they not install any roadblocks? If they are even out here... This is the main transport artery, after all. Maybe they are not like here this. at all. Maybe they never came here, or they are already gone. Though, where to? Remember, neither Katya nor Crest have ever met them. Though, we seem to be doing just fine even without them. It's like the Middle Ages. That Salantius is treating people like slaves, getting them killed. I can't believe they had it worse without his lies, nonsense, and human sacrifices. And us? We had been living down there for so many years, fighting each other, and nobody even thought you could live outside. Man, this is kind of reminding me of Red Dead Redemption 2, how it's so like. You can imagine RTM sketched this, like people, like it's really cool. I would actually buy a, like you know, it's been years since I bought like a video game manual. You know when you used to buy, I used to buy it all the time for GTA and stuff, like with like how to handle getting 100% completion and stuff like that. Um, I ain't bought something like that for ages, but something like this, that's like, I would really buy something that is like all hand sketched like this. I 
I think this is really nicely done. It has, a bit, it has a bit more like tangibility to it. It's like um, State of Decay 1 where everything you was, all the menus and the map, it was all just stuff you found or just stuff you were using like in real life. But in State of Decay 2, it's all, it's a video game now. Um, but sure, it wasn't so realistic. Oh wow, these are cool. It wasn't so realistic in um, State of Decay 1, in graphics or anything, but it still was like, it had that immersive sort of factor of the art style in a way. Um, ah, everything. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. Tell me you wouldn't buy a book. I bet there is probably a manual like this. Imagine, do you remember back in the day when we used to have, like, game guides in the actual box of <laughs> games we buy? <laughs> we don't get them anymore. Or you'd have, like, a poster. Stuff like that, just something so simple. Uh, if you want a poster, it's a digital currency. Whoa. Alright, Anna, I'm gonna go. Who wanted me? Um... But yeah, I've started um, Uncle Tom, Uncle Tom, Uncle Docker has already set his shop up. Wanna go look? Right. It's so cool. Here, Uncle Tom. Ah, hi, Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Much better. And what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach. Yet, there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this too. Looks like we're facing a long journey and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. But it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. A Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. <sighs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. <laughs> well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. Uncle Dokarev! <clears throat> Uncle Dokarev! <sighs> What would you like to ask, Nastya? Uncle Tokarev, do you have a sewing machine? No, I don't. But how are you going to fix the suits then? Sorry, I'm just letting them talk. <laughs> they don't want to miss it. And I use a sail stitch. Whoa, cool! Can you teach me? I just got a teddy. I sure can, but later. I've got work to do. Will you let me fix Sam's rifle strap? Will. Sure thing. Oh, but under supervision. Sam is so strict, you know. But, um... Yeah, I started up, um... Grounded and... Uh, State Decay 2. Again. Marine Nightmare Zone in State Decay. And that's been a lot more fun than I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be a lot more... It is stressful, but it's because I'm experienced with the game and we're in a community that's established. And that's been really fun. So, if anyone's watching, um, go and check out them uh, State of Decay videos that have been up. They will be up on YouTube by now, but if you're on Twitch, check them out now. But because um, they were so much fun playing Nightmare and 
no one's died yet or anything. I was worried that we'd last an episode and that'd be it, but we've done really well. Um, I need, um, what's it? Uh, grounded, that's been fun. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another lot of Grounded and State of Decay for the next few days. Because um, I was going to go back to Sea of Thieves today. But I'm going to go do probably Grounded today. And um, Grounded tomorrow. And then it'll be State of Decay, State of Decay. And then we'll probably go back to State Sea of Thieves. Because I've re- uh, while this is all going on on YouTube in the background. Because it's been a few weeks ahead. Um, I've probably got a week's worth of just, just Sea of Thieves every day. And... Um, and I think there were bonus episodes as well in the evening, so I think I need to have a little bit of a re- slow down on Sea of Thieves on YouTube to give them episodes a breathing space, and it allows these new episodes to get some room as well. So, um, and Uncle yeah. Sam isn't strict at all. He's kind. A a small break. break. That's good. Come on. Oh, this is one oh. mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. <laughs> well, it's a newspaper. Nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> well, you are the right kind of guys. I mean, you, the colonel, Duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. And now he's bragging about it like a child. He's a child, really, no, a child, but he's good. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Ah, uh, yes, uh, thank you. You you people accepted me and, and I, uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay that debt back, okay? So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? It's not bad. Sure thing. So much space. It feels too empty to me, though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Hate them. Phew. Yeah. It's a bit boring. <laughs> I see. So you're back. What other plans does our leader have in store? Wait, don't tell me. I haven't gone yet. I'm going. Alright. Just wanted to see you. Um, well, I guess that's... Maybe Captain's room? Um, what's his name? Hey, hello. Arto, everyone. Come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. <laughs> so, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Okay. Probably a copyright stroke, but I don't care. <laughs> Should you really have that gun there when there's a kid running about? Oh, the facial animation, like the facial models as well. They're so, they're really Thank good. Thank you, Stepan. They're like, um... I'm sorry to ask, gotcha, but... Nastya's father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept yep. it in. 
I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. Sieni used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you how we ended up at the bridge. We used to live yeah. in the northeast yeah, the, from here. Um, Quite close we used to go in a straight line. Um, but it took us a month. The, hang on. They, they remind me a lot of... Um, oh, what's that Rockstar him. game? Uh, where they had like photorealistic faces. Not just it never looked course, right, but um, general industry. what was it? LA Noir, that's it. And now you These can't sort of anime so faces. Kind of remind, I wonder if they did the same sort of technique, so but it looks really no good in this. Like, it all matches very well. So. <laughs> It's really nice. So, Artyom, the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. Tokarev was mad. Ah, uh, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. I read these train sections well, are a lot of dialogue. Well, there I am looking at Artyom milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> that he did, uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You ask me about the waste yourselves. All right, go on. So I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark, nobody around, but I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and let down. There was that shed down there. The roof was uh, kind of close. Uh, uh, and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! And there was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> well, you Duke are lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> I like this stuff. It's That's super... hilarious. And what was next? Oh, oh this <laughs> is next. Next, we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, oh, this quality is at the at the standard of, at the standard of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, and like, they're trying to make you immersed in the world, and it's, I like this stuff, it's, sure it's not for everyone, but, um, it's not for everyone, but, um, like this slower paced thing, because, whereas the last two games, it was very much mission after mission, constant, whereas, in this, you got this downtime in between levels with like this pretty much pointless tasks and stuff, but it just adds to the experience. It adds to like, oh, this is what these characters are doing in the downtime. Like, sure, when you're in the actual moment in the mission, it feels like you're the only one doing it, and that's maybe a problem. But it was like then Red Dead Redemption 2, where You'd always come back to a full camp, and it all always feel like you're coming back to uh, put money in the tin, stuff like that. It's, it's, it's a bit of like you've got to work with the game a bit and think, oh yeah, as soon as we go, uh, people are doing stuff. Whereas Rockstar, they did it well, where you did meet up with people in missions outside the camp, so there was that element to this. But where is this? It seems like they're always at the train. Um, but I like this. It, it's a really nice, somewhat... They've tried to do something different with Metro and it, I think it's... It's a, it's a good thing for the game, but... I don't know, I don't know whether I prefer the old way of just getting on with it or... But then I, I do think it's nice just playing a guitar with your comrades or chatting with them, having a drink, like that stuff is cool. Um, 
Whereas in the first game, you didn't really get to bond with people too long. Because there's always that moment where you meet someone new. And then within a few seconds or a moment, or after a scene, you get split off. And there was never that, like, even with Anas, like, uh, you end up getting split off from her constantly throughout the second game. And in the first game, she wasn't even in it, was she? So it's, in this, it's very nice that you get to know her a bit more. And a lot of the other characters that have been throughout the other games, so this one benefits like the character side of it. Whereas I think the first two were more Artyom's journey to becoming a soldier. I think that was the main focus. Um, but yeah, it's good. Listen. I had a talk with the Ark! All thanks to Dokoran. He got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. And this is Ark? Uh, identify yourself. Uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. I hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that the checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, Emelikov? Simply capital. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know, the situation is dire and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the Special Forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, uh, I see. Well, this is great. Great! Yes, uh, we are a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K-6 Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. In just a moment, I have to check. K-6... Uh, Alpha, you say? Uh, as far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters reported in the area, Colonel. I regret. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is so... honor! Thank you! So much fun with this. What is the general situation there, Major? Please! Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information. But I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Well, see you in the Ark. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking. The minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. There's something As wrong with this see, man. We are heading almost You're straight to the Yaman Dome complex. He's got so Katia stupid. And Chris tell me that the line there is in this condition. Fucking idiot. Uh, surprising, Trust really. Us. Taking into account the number of priority targets there. It's so, so we sus. can hope for smooth sailing from here. And right to the very destination. <laughs> it's so sus. <laughs> We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination desert. of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for Might be destroying our first. previous we'll lives. He is eagerly area. anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? 
Yeah. Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro. Why would we want to return home after this? We're going to, we're going to a long way out of our way to just leave. To come, just to go back now? Like, it's a, f a long journey. Think, if you think about it, we left without really telling anyone as well. Yeah. I wonder if, I'm guessing the whole world's been affected by this, right? I'm guessing if, if bombs were going off every, off one side, they'd go off from the other, wouldn't they? It's like in real life, if one side set off a nuke, the other would definitely do it, wouldn't they? There's no like, oh, we'll just leave it. <laughs> it's just eye for an eye, isn't it? With, when it comes to nukes, I reckon. Um, so I wonder why it would be like in England or America. I suppose that's Fallout. <laughs> I wonder what it would be like in other like areas of the world, like India and... Um, I wonder if they'd have like different mutants and creatures and... Um, Cause it seems like all over Russia it's very similar creatures and um, the only new thing is them like male man creature like um what are they called ghouls um yeah it's interesting oh yeah it's not I'm guessing this is a bit of linear Rail car. Stuff. What's going on ahead? Over. Everything's abandoned, but the truck is okay. Over. Roger that. I thought it'd be... Don't go too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. I still can't believe this. We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years! My whole life! And it was not spent in vain! Now I know it for a fact! Mama, look! Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Yeah. Shh! Don't say that. Go back, Colonel. It's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on! Passengers, get inside and put them up tight! Yes, of course. Come on, Nastya. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for Artyom and me. Roger that. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. A <laughs> wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine! Jumping down. How did that get ahead of us? That wouldn't be quicker than this, would it? Come on, babe. It's a honeymoon date. Take the Aurora back to the safe zone and sit tight there. We do that right now. Step on. You're Do some in Netflix charge and chill away. later. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. I guess it is a bit quicker. Where's the Moscow? Yeah, looks like it. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. It's like a hundred to me. Lots of that. Your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. Yeah, I think maybe it'll be the desert area after this because it looks like they're easing into the hole. I'm kind of liking it if they break it up with this. Miller, over and out. It ain't gonna be like tons of episodes of just open world. There'll be breaks in between, so that's gonna be. I, I just don't remember the order they came. Um, Look at all those cars. Artyom was right. People were coming here from all over the country. 
Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, I don't trust this. This is there. sus, right? And now, why is that here? Did they have half this stuff oh, made yeah, before? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. This is a bad place. Now we shouldn't have come here. Really? By that stuff. Okay, that that so where's my rail car thing. I swear they were on the metro. So it's weird that it's all the way down here as well. Oh, see, nobody home. How about we go back? Huh? Wait. Look. Maybe it's the Nazis. Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. No. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. Could. Mina is a... Miller is a fucking dear. We are so gullible. This is wrong. This is something going to go down. Yeah, thank you. Why is it so deserted here? No gun placements, no patrols, not even lookouts. Why would they need any of that? A nuclear warhead couldn't take it out. That's all. Hello, man. Position people. This is wrong, man. I don't like this. Could use some cleaning at the very least. Sam, idiot. You know what? No need for us all to crowd the government. So you do better stay with Crest. Yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. You fucking idiot, mate. Ah, this is so annoying. We're going in so blind. Oh, we ain't even got our guns drawn. We don't know who we're walking into. So quiet. I don't remember if we get stabbed in the back. Did you at least like prepare a speech? Did. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an all-nighter. <laughs> don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. I was wrong. This is wrong. Thanks for not giving up. This is something else. This is not what... Get back. Get behind me. Get behind me. <laughs> this is bad. There goes nothing! Oh, this is familiar. Same design. I suppose it makes sense. It's the same design. Oh, this is bad. Why is this like a theatre? Like oh, this is bad, boys. Comrade Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? <laughs> ah! Fucking... Get up! Artyom, man, you're always on the floor doing fuck all. Get up, man! <laughs> fuck sake. <laughs> how, how would... If, these don't seem militant. So I wonder how they got into this place. I suppose they are, they've had time to get hold of this place. But... Fuck it, assholes. <laughs> Uh, 
What the? Where am I? Where are the others? <coughs> Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So, <sighs> so far, I, I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense now. Do not worry. Everything will be just fine, and even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are the are you mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just. Well, this is like um, Terminus cows. from The Walking Dead. Calm down. We'll get John this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter in, taste. That it was all safe. The girl will have to wait, though. And we must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker, and I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! Not one will escape! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people and the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time this is before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. I'm killing his guys. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, <laughs> I'll excuse you myself. Come here, I'll rip you all apart. Every last one of you should have done that before the war. Now we'll be fought again. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, nice. Careful. Oh, nice one. Artyom! Here. Colonel, sir. I'll take the hatchet. Thank enough. you, Sam. But it is not. We have to get... But first, we must find Anna! I'm sorry. I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Idiot! Start the main elevator up! Oh, they're gonna be like... Yes, sir! In your face with axes and that. Go, 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 go! 
Not really. Just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True. And quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. I wonder if they've reused Still, the, the same location. Huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So we'll have to split up. I wonder if they've reused Sam, D6. You check the filter and just room, the changed up the logo and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? Let's go! Your floor. Oh, this is not good. Gonna be interesting. It's gonna be like zombies in it. Anything. <laughs> There's nothing in there, was there? We got bullets reload. Yes. Got enough big fucking gun rounds. Here. That's good. Uh, hmm. I really they ain't gave you a choice to be like non violent. What are you guys doing? Oh shit, dude, I'm sorry. Oh 
Oh shit though. Plot my own way. Trying to get as much. Don't want to lose anything. Leave anything because. Oh, this stuff is good for like bullet making and everything. Yeah! I'm pop round here. How is he able to stand up with that? Wait, <laughs> if you get hit by that, you're gonna be on the floor. This is bad. This is bad. I get probably yanked behind me and I no. The absolute nutters, ain't they? I wonder if this is from I'm kind of surprised that they don't want you to go a bit more stealthy a with this. Ooh. Well, that would have been an easy thing to miss. I don't know how he's squeezing through there like that. <laughs> There's a smaller gap than it is. keep doing that um, left bumper and why because I think in the old game it was um, that for the light <laughs> oh why did it be a fucking asshole I think it was up on the d-pad weren't it in the last game Interesting. Kind of like this. This level's kind of reminding me of um, a bit of Outlast, really. No, 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 no. I thought that was loot. Whoa! What's happening with him? Is he on fire? Is that a bug? Or is it the gas? Oh, it's the gas, maybe. <coughs> yeah. This is a safe spot. Why did you shoot them? What the fuck? But there was meat. Meat, you see? Who there? Oh. Oh, whoa. That's a bit glitchy, isn't it? Calm down, mate. I don't 
these guys are doing. Why can't we have throwing axes? That'd be cool. Sit the foot down. Whoa, what's he made out of? Oh, there's so much like secrets right now. I bet there's a postcard, I don't know. See anything? And what that says? I'm definitely liking this stuff. Like this remind. I think this is a bit better than the open world area because if this feels like the metro, like metro game right now. This linear stuff, I like this. So I'm kind of glad that they've done a bit of both. So it's like meeting people in the middle ground, but then they're doing the open world stuff, which I suppose that's what they wanted to do. But this feels like it's like if they had a whole game like this, where I don't know, maybe if you were on the train and you just went from level to level, and maybe not had the big open world sort of thing, maybe it'd be better that way. I don't know how they would have done it, but... I don't know, I think Metro lends itself a bit better to linear sort of gameplay than... <laughs> it lends itself a bit better, I think, to like linear sort of gameplay. Maybe add a bit more choices, like... Um, outcomes. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's old. Um, but, yeah, I think it's all good, isn't it, really? Like this. Oh, this feels like Metro. Whereas, when it goes open world, it feels like it's copying other stuff too much. With its own mechanics. See anyone? Got him. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Why in is that guy's business? That's better. This might be a bit of a longer one. <laughs> Don't know how long this is gonna go. I might as well finish off this level before I stop. It's reminded me a lot of Terminus from The Walking Dead because we were lured in to a very like safe area. Oh, right in the back. Why? Why is my meat gone? Why, if these guys are ca cannibals, you think they would have um, ate, like, eaten each other by now? 
Or maybe they've gone crazy because of the... Maybe they've gone crazy because of like the radiation, maybe they have eaten people and they've got the radiation and so poison. I wish the Molotovs were a bit better. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever got any more. Just want to calm down. What the fuck is shooting? Calm down! It's really annoying. Who's the shooting at? Set yourself on fire. Right. Come on, pop out. I'll do some looting now, boys. Do you want to calm down? Come and kill you in a minute, yeah? Fucking crackheads. Absolute crackheads. I wonder if you, I suppose you could get addicted to like human food, couldn't you? Because like, if you think about it, if you're that crazy, there's an endless amount of it. I bet there's been like murderers that have eaten people just to get rid of the body. There's some fucked up people in the world. Some of the stories that people come up with, like on the news and everything, you think that's that, that belongs in like a fiction. Whoa! I said it. Mate. You think it'd be in like a like a. Uh, just a, I don't know, some messed up dreams and stuff, you know? Oh. Now this is where I wish I could just, instead of having to hold B on everything like that, it's really slow, it slows things right down. Like the game's slow anyway, but I'm not sure if it's needed to, I'm not sure if, um, I suppose B is crouching, so... But I don't know, I, I think it's a bit slow when you have to hold down B on everything. Like, I can get it in like something like Red Dead Redemption 2, where they had that a lot. But something like this, I don't know, I feel like it's a bit slow. Especially when other games where... Like, like Sea of Thieves, you're constantly just picking stuff off with one button. Or like... It'd be so annoying like in Sea of Thieves if you went to get bullets, you had to hold down <laughs> B for each bullet to <laughs> go into your inventory is a bit, I don't know. It's not too bad, it could be, I think maybe they could have made it a bit quicker maybe. Right now it's a bit. I suppose it's not, oh, in these moments anyway it's a bit. Oh, shit. oh, I think I remember this. 
This is a bit crazy. You mate, you like that? I guess if they're saying fresh meat. Oh, what's that? Oh, can I pick that? Would that replace this? What's this? Or is this like just to replace everything? Oh, wow. Got him, didn't we? I need to keep reloading. Unless I have more bullets then. Yeah. <laughs> this craziness is gonna remind make you wanna play some Far Cry. <laughs> Not sure what I'll feel about the new Far Cry game. It looks massive. I feel like they're gonna go all crazy with it. But they got proper I think they got jets and everything, ain't they? So I, I bet the map is map's gotta be massive. Um, like the <laughs> the cuts, like the um, the uh, the yeah, the cinematic cutscenes in the game look a bit pixelated. I don't know. I don't know why that is. Because especially after foot, I suppose it's um, I suppose it meets expectations, and I suppose they're not um like candy coating it or anything like they usually do so I suppose it's I'd rather it look it looks okay um, so I suppose yeah they're not trying to fool anyone if it looks bad and then maybe when it releases it looks even better maybe maybe that I, I bet that Oh okay, god, achievement! <laughs> it's like doom. Why can I get? Why can't I keep this? I'll keep this shit. <laughs> Be unstoppable. Oh, did I keep it? I didn't lose my rifle, did I? No. Maybe it's just with the... I don't know. I hope I didn't, didn't lose my assault rifle. When you... Ugh. Ew. That's something, isn't it? It's not... <laughs> gonna, not gonna lose that out of your sight anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, his gut is very, like, terminus. My Jesus. I bet there was this sort of stuff in, like, World War II and everything. This sort of fucked up. Especially with, like, Nazis and everything. Like, you can imagine them doing... This sort of thing. I've seen, I've seen a few documentaries where, like, they were into some weird stuff. Um, I, I think there was one where it was like this random fort, like um, World War Two bunker, in the middle of Greece or somewhere. I can't remember where it was actually at, 
But it wasn't like for military purposes because there was like no defenses. But underneath the ground, there was like a, there was like a lab, like a medical lab, and there was like drains for like where blood would go, and it was like, man, they went to some weird shit. <laughs> God knows, like, what they were trying to experiment on or anything, but, um, yeah. Oh, Anna. Um. Yeah, is she, is she sick? Artyom, I knew! <laughs> Behind you! Oh, you. There is always one like you, a hero. You're not saving anyone, just like the others. So just. Freeze! Yes, yes. Just, just, him. Don't, don't kill me! Now. Remember kill him. what I told you. There was an ex. Enough, Thank you. Good girl. <laughs> Are you alright, Artyom? Thank God. Even though it was probably good news, like bad news, what he was about to say then, but um, she does not look well. So I suppose she <laughs> has just been beaten up. Uh, have I lost my uh, it's rifle? Me. Are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay, Artyom found me. Oh, thank God. Well done, I'm, ge I'm guessing I lost my Where rifle. Go Can't. I ain't got my assault rifle anymore. Let's go. Not too fast though. I need to catch my breath a bit. Well wait. I'm checking. There's no secrets. Secrets, no. No secret medication or drugs, like some meth, nothing. Just to get me through this trauma right now. Oh, okay. They've been busy. This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that Silentius with his damn fanatics. It's just the way it is. Like, this world would make people messed up. Like in a zombie apocalypse. It, no matter how you want but people no. to just work together, you just won't have there that. Still and then space for growth. State. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. Oh, you... You wait until, like, um... Social media collapses. <laughs> that would be apocalypse, like situation right there the people live for the next tweet well, I, I tweet probably too more than I should but come on I want to do that I wouldn't ever forgive myself I'm all right who could have known who knew these these creatures kept eating people for 20 years? Stop coughing. Could you imagine that? I'm sorry. I got carried away like a greenhorn recruit. The minister was going to see me. And conceit made me complacent. I even saluted those ghouls. So fucking arc. These monsters have made me like the watchers in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. But these... Alright, but what do we do I'll now? I'll be damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs... All the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. 
What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> At the moment? Are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't now? know, Anna. We have to make the decision together. Hate to interrupt, but it's getting quite hot in here. Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. Let's go. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't. You're right, of course. Oh, I, th I feel like I'm missing something. They wouldn't give all this open area and not put anything in, surely. Can you go stop talk? Like, can you wait until I'm near you to talk? <laughs> Thank God for subtitles, eh? Yeah, I don't guess not. Probably missing something. It's like a lot of room just to not put anything. Probably something. Probably too stupid. I like my big gun. Just chilling. I'm hoping when I run out of this, I get my rifle back, but. Yeah, I wonder if they've, like, used the same asset from the first game, was it? When we went to D6? And they've just painted new numbers on it. Oh. It'd be kind of cool to think that this is just... Because it looks very same design, right? Careful, I know I always shot your armor. later <laughs> oh to think I believed those pricks from Hansa I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ that we were under occupation that we were still in war that there were generals here giving orders what an idiot suka <laughs> Why are you mad? <laughs> I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. 
But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? Pirora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? <laughs> There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> could well be. But first, we have to be really careful this time. So and second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn, then! <coughs> okay, cool. Well, I think I might leave it there for today. Three months on the road. Three months of constant trial. But... After Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know. But what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. Well, at least you got something. <clears throat> but yeah, I think I'm going to end it after this. Like, we'll load in and then leave to the main menu. But I think I'm going to leave it here because it's been a long enough episode. But I quite enjoyed that just... Uh, like one off at level, like it reminded me of the other uh, Metro games. So I think that's what the case is. I think they break up the open world areas with um, uh, like the classic sort of Metro style of um, uh, level design, where it's just shooting in a straight down, straight line almost. Um, so like something like today's episode was quite nice because it wasn't going from question mark to question mark like it can be and we do enough of that in Assassin's Creed so um, but it's different like it's a bit more like um, you've got your own free will with this like I don't need to go to every question mark but I'm going to try to um, I'm not going to just speed run this because I don't want to <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been in. I've, I've really enjoyed this episode. I'm glad I came on because I, I, even though um, I wasn't going to come on today because I did, I weren't 100. percent But I had um, I drugged myself up and I feel a, a lot better now. And I think maybe games helped as well, keep, just keep my mind going because sitting around doing it ain't going to help made me feel any better either so um yeah uh but what i'm gonna do because i'm streaming i'll do the next episode right after this um i'll leave to the main menu though so we can have that intro again um oh the gaming oh yeah good um uh, streaming wise I might do the next episode right after this um, I would have just left it going but yeah I'm worried about Anna I think it's quite obvious something's not right with her but no one's bringing it up not even Artyom like, it's obvious ever since she's been in that like bunker um, with a mask off she's out, there's something wrong with her and like even when the doctor was about to say, even though I wanted him to, uh, to kill us, like he was about to say something. So I'm not sure. I can't remember her dying. I think she does survive. 
I remember Artyom dying, but if, to be honest, Artyom died in the end of the last game, so I don't know. <laughs> like this could be all different characters, and I would never know. But um, yeah, so next time I think we're gonna head into the desert. I think it seems like the lead-in is the desert map, but so we might be doing a maybe a few episodes in the open world sort of style. Um, but yeah, this was episode eight. Um, and like I said earlier, go and check out my uh, State of Decay and Grounded because they're back up and running. And um, I'll probably do some more over the next few days. Um, and then we'll get back to see if he's at some point. But I think I want to play more Grounded and State of Decay, so yeah. But I'll say for some reason I do to see if these I'll do it, but my plan is to Grounded and State of Decay for the next rotation, so. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there for today. As always, thanks for watching if you've been watching, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one.